Thank you once again for, for this opportunity. My my name is Professor Tata Omadogi. I'm I'm currently a duty employee. Uh, recently, I've been seconded to the position of Deputy Dean in the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment. But previously, I served as the head of department for the Department of Electrical Power Engineering. One of my roles that I'm responsible for is to head up the research of the Faculty Teaching and Learning to ensure that we subscribe to all the university's rules regulation and we also contribute to the Brown Eye Vision 2030, where we would like to be the leading faculty with respect to innovation and solving some of the societal problems that we have. On a personal level, I have been involved in research since 2017-2016. Primarily, I'm a power engineer by profession, having practiced engineering for some time. So my work has been around energy, energy management. In recent times, I've started to work in the spectrum of education, education engineering, and entrepreneurship, because I believe that uh, we, we are in an era where we don't ne not necessarily need to train engineers for work performances, but also to bring the, the ethos of entrepreneurship and, and education. Yes, I, I think it's the highest honor to be granted uh, the chartered engineer status in our field. The process is quite tedious and cumbersome. Uh, I had to write a report, comprehensive report, with the standard of the UK, which requires 17 outcomes for you to demonstrate your engineering abilities in solving complex problems. And, and as such, it took me over a year to compile that report. And I would like to give credit to one of my mentors, Professor Namabona, who is also a CN, chartered engineer, who really took me through the process and gave me all the support that I needed. And, and and really guided me throughout the, the entire process. And subsequent to that, after the submission of the of the report, you are required to be interviewed. In my case, I had six people interviewing me, three from academia and three from industry experts coming from different parts of the world. They they their responsibility is just to try and check the level of technical and comprehensive abilities as a, as a chartered engineer because uh, within the spectrum of engineering, being a seat eng it's probably the second highest honor that one can achieve. Uh, so it was a tedious process, a process that took quite a lot out of me, uh, but I'm grateful that eventually I, I went through the process and I was granted the state house of being a chartered engineer. The primary objective for being a chartered engineer is to hold the highest ethical proclamation. Engineering is a very sensitive discipline that requires one to be ethical and to perform their duties with the highest standard. One of my roles is to ensure that I contribute to the broader engineering community by advising different organizations on how on best practices in engineering and how they can improve the technological approach uh, with regards to any project that they may want to do. Uh, to advance their, um, their outlook as an organization. We also are responsible for writing standards that can be adopted by any other organization. And the amount of work that we do, it's a, it's a community service work because we are not getting any remuneration for it. But it's at the basis of how can we advance engineering and ensure uh, that we contribute to different parts of the world, looking at different challenges that society is, is, is faced with. On, on my reaction, well, I'd be lying if I said I expected to be granted the status. Although I put up a very strong application and did very well during the interviews, but it's, 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 quite, it's quite a challenging thing. Uh, I was so humbled and very happy at the same time, mixed emotions. I, I never thought that it would be possible from uh, working as a person who used to package cabbages uh, uh, to being a chartered engineer. I know many people go their whole life trying to attain that status and they don't get that opportunity. So I was very humble and grateful and I don't take it for granted 
and try daily to perform my journey duties with the highest uh, highest honor and discipline. But, well, the the CN status has definitely put up my name on the map as one of the trusted people with regards to a Jaden contribution. Uh, I, I stand to be corrected, but I believe that it's only the two of us current in the university to hold the status, being myself and Professor Nemawola, the DMC RIE. Uh, so it has affected my life positively, but also it has brought some pressure on me to be in power with the new technologies, to read a lot, uh, research a lot, so that whatever advice I issue passes the standard of e e quality, but most importantly, applicability. Because sometimes we, we offer advice that on paper it's good, but can never be implemented practically. And 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 uh, the, the status, of course, because you get requests from all over the world, uh, uh, and you need to advise on the best practices and even propose some solutions for for the broader community. For duty, I think this is good for duty, and and because it has honestly ensured that it is in power with Envision 2030, with regard to innovation, it gives one a space to be practically innovative, but also it did put duty on the map, yeah, and and then I can I can assure you, currently I currently have students from other countries who have shown interest to study with DUT at Masters and PhD level. So I'm already studying with DUT and I think it came through the the, the status of BNC and because it has increased the aspect of trust that students in the broader community has on, 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 on DUT to offer good educational services. The, the dynamics of research, they change from time to time. Yet, although I accept that I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an energy power, engineer, researcher. But I, I think I'm at the stage where I, I need research, I need to do research that is impactful. Uh, for instance, KZN has a lot of problems that one needs to start working aggressively on to ensure that uh, before we solve problems out there, we start solving problems in-house. There's issues of settlement, uh, there's issues of water, there's issues of electricity, and broader, broader, pro broadly, the issue for, of, of education. So I'm aggressively working on some of those issues which to, to try and address some of the sustainable uh, development goals and also the, 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 uh, the aspect of Invasion 2030 as to how can we create adaptive graduates. People will be able to adapt to the changing dynamics of the world. So I'm working currently on a couple of articles uh, Hopefully they will be accepted for, 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 for publication, but also doing some quite work on, on the labs uh, to see if we cannot contribute to this humongous problem we have with the energy shortage in our country and the side creation as a whole. I've also been waiting patiently for the NRF rating outcome. And and when when it comes, hopefully one will expect a positive outcome and we can advance research within the faculty.